I like how rather than say I need to go help Zach, she's like, ah, there's snakes. I should probably not go yet. <laughs> How's it going, Maxers? Welcome back. As always, my name is Dodomus Maximus. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I've got a new setup today, so hopefully everything works out great. We're back again for more Angels of Death. Hopefully, I think we're almost at the end of episode three and then on to the very last chapter in this game. So I'm super excited to bring that to you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. Moving on, I call the next witness. State thine testimony against her. All right, Danny's gonna do his thing. All right, that was grandiose. Are the ridiculous testimonies over now? Hey, you Rachel. You seem at ease now. Are you relieved I'm here? Daniel Dickens. You are willing to testify. Yes, of course, Reverend. I mean, somebody's got to do a decent job of, t of testifying for Rachel. I must be the one to sing Rachel's praises. Hey, Rachel. You know I'd never misunderstand you, right? Then begin. To be truthful, it's ridiculous to testify about something so plain as the light of day. That's how much everyone misunderstands Rachel. Okay. Uh... It all started in the therapy room where I first met- Okay, cool, so we actually get to find out what the hell happened to Rachel. At the time, I was looking for the perfect pair of peepers. Stop with the peepers. Living peepers frozen, forever frozen in death. All right, that's not creepy. Naturally, even dead peepers would do, but they all get cloudy. But it was not meant to be. After all, in an average Joe's peepers change immediately depending on their emotional state. Not Rachel, though. Despair to hope, disappointment to malice. Well, it comes with my profession. At the time, I was in charge of counseling her. Looking back on it now, it makes me so happy. Never have I seen such magnificent, such fascinating peepers. Such blue, murky, and tranquil lakes among darkness, even to steal, enough to steal my heart. <sighs> Come on, I just want to do something. Then, during one of my sessions with her, the most obvious thing occurred to me. What? What is it? What was it, Danny? Her peepers were just the very ones I sought, alive and forever frozen in death. I mean, there's no arguing that her heart is just odd. A pitiful, hopeless soul. Daniel Dickens. Is what I say not true? Daniel. There's no way her soul could ever be saved. Danny. I mean, it's because... It's because her soul... Stop it. Awkward. Awkward silence is awkward! Yes! Aye. Stop it. You stop it. Not while you deflated his balloon. Her soul cannot be saved. I mean, because her soul consumes others. Oh, okay. Without mercy. What does that mean? Or remorse. A soul that buries and steals anything it can. Ooh, you're not a nice person, Rachel. Hmm. What's wrong, Rachel? I don't know. Oh, what lovely peepers you have. May I look at them? Oh, and... When we were reunited on B5, she was acting a bit strange. Even now, she seems off, though. Look, now you're almost back to your old self. Everything will be alright as long as I'm here. Why don't we get through this together? Daniel Dickens! Okay. Sorry. What'd I do? Is that your testimony? I could go more in detail about what makes her so wonderful, if you'd like. No need for that. I think I've heard more than enough. Not to mention your testimony was rather condemning. Witness, you may now leave. Bye, see ya! Go away. Why are you blue? Is something on your head? It'll be alright, Rachel. You heard me, right? I said the real you shouldn't have its soul stolen. Um, okay. What? What was that? What was that? Rachel Gardner. Your sentence has been determined. Why did you make me save? You two heard the claims by each of them. Danny was especially telling. He is the most in tune with your background. Twas certainly Danny who has watched over you the longest. And twas Danny who bore witness to the truth and never refuted you. He is no doubt infatuated with you, sorceress. None of that is my fault. Dr. Danny's just been selfish. Have you ever considered that you are the selfish one, Rachel Gardner? Eddie said so in his testimony, about how you neglect everything besides your own ambitions. Okay. And then there's Kathy. 
What an unfortunate soul. On top of tricking her to go as far as to entrance her in your spell. To see a woman of pride like her reduced to an empty shell of her former self. Formal self. Form. Okay. Isn't it former? To see a woman of pride like her reduced to an empty shell of her formal self. How appalling. You are a witch. No! <laughs> no! Am I wrong? You are unable to even refute a single claim made against thee. Well, witch! Let thee be cleansed. What do I do? What do I gotta do? Can I run? Can I go? Is that lava? Now the witch shall be burned at a stake. Okay, that's... That took... That went, that went from 0 to 10 real fast. It's just like... I'm not a witch. <laughs> She's like, I couldn't. I don't really give a fuck. I'm not a witch. Who would believe words spilling forth from the mouth of a witch? No. Even after hearing the testimonies, you remain steadfast in your claim. You murdered their hearts. Yes, you murdered their angelic hearts. They killed a lot of people. Why are you on their side? You played them like violins and left them for dead. What a barbaric feat. Did I be? And now you plan to pull the same stunt even with Isaac Foster, am I right? Yes, another sacrifice for your selfish ambition. I just want to die. She just wants to die. Stop it, you're wrong. So, I don't... What ambition? Now. <laughs> oh, shit. It's hot, it's hot. Admit you are a witch. Reveal thyself to us. And let the sacred flame sanctify thyself to God. I am not a witch. Besides, nothing like that is written in the Bible. Oh, she got him. Got you. But of course, Rachel Gardner. That's because your so-called God doesn't exist. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. But you've been using the name of God this whole time. Yes, because I'm referring to my God. What? What? I am a servant of God. Are you talking about the devil? You might call me the god of this place. So you mean that you're god? Well, yes, here I am, the closest being to a god. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I won't believe you. A faithful heart is the significance of god's existence, my poor, dear Rachel. You never had that from the start. Huh? Well, we're in a pickle. Quite the pickle. How do we get out? It can't be. It simply can't be. God doesn't exist. How? That just can't be. I won't accept it. I can't accept it. That preacher insisted that he is God. But he can't be. He is wrong. I don't wish to be killed by that God. But my God doesn't exist. Zach. Zach. But I I want Zack to kill me. You can just end it now. Uh oh. It's so cold. It's so hard to get something's cold in my hands. The knife? This? What's this? Ah. What was it again? Is it your gun? Something something precious to me. Something that I broke and ruined, yet protected me this whole time. The knife? Wait! I'll try to remember. Okay. What the hell is going on? Ah! <laughs> Zack's knife. I'm so confused. I'm so lost. Okay. A chip knife is thrust into the floor. Okay, pull it out. It's cold. It hurts. It's chipped yet cut so well. Is she getting some weird thrill out of cutting herself? <laughs> Well now, okay, okay. <laughs> my god is here after all. That's great, good for you. This is a little awkward, I probably shouldn't be here for this. 
oddly personal. Uh oh. Ugh. How have you awoken? My purple rain should have worked. The strange things I've seen on this floor were all illusions. It's what you've shown to my heart. My god has opened my eyes. Then, I wasn't able to purge the witch within thee. I'm not, I'm not a witch. I've not made any covenants. There was an oath. It was an oath for my god. I see the witch in you has chosen to receive it that way. Even if you are mistaken, even if what you say is a fabrication of lies, you do not care, it seems. None of that matters. Did she kill him? She just stab him in the throat? God. Hurry and give me the medicine. Oh, no. She didn't kill him. Not yet. Oh, pitiful witch who does not love anything but thyself. Follow me. Purple rain, come back. Purple guy, you got what you deserved. Creep purple guy. Can I go check on Zack? I haven't got the medicine. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Uh-oh, okay. Tis further in the back. All right, after you. Why? Well, Zack's asleep, and I don't know what you'll do. I see. There is medicine on hither shelf. Ay. Can I talk to you? What's wrong? The medicine is right there. I don't trust you. I don't trust you! I don't trust you. The shelf is lined with drugs such as antiseptic, solution, hemostatic, agents, and hematinics. Hem, okay. Blood stuff. Acquired medicine. This, this should definitely make him better. I'll go back to Zack. He's gonna stab you real fast. Okay. Thank you. I'm going back to Zack. Wait! You don't intend to kill me? Why would I? You now believe in a new god, dost thou not? The existence of multiple gods will cause nothing but trouble. Besides, you are not one to be merciful. Do you stand in my way? Um, no. If not, then there is no need for me to do so. I mean, I have no use for you. Serious faces, serious. I see. Do you? Then I shall offer you one last piece of advice. Zack is already dead. The being known as God despises liars and the impure. That is, if your so-called God should actually exist. Rachel Gardner, it will all catch up with you soon. Okay, I hope so. Let's find out what's going on. I got the medicine. Time to get back to Zack. Sprint. Anything good here? Let's get out of here. It's been... F There's a door here. I had a feeling it was an illusion. Okay. Uh, oh, he's dead. Oh, well, time to go. Bye. So, you have a knife. Who cares? <laughs> I like how, rather than say I need to go help Zack, she's like, ah, there's snakes. I should probably not go yet. <laughs> okay. Zack! Good. He's just asleep. I don't know why or how. At least I can... The least I can do is apply the medicine first. I guess this is the kind applied externally. His wounds are serious, but the bleeding's mostly stopped. Well, that's because it's all in the other room and this room. He's got nothing left. Then I just apply it and bandage him. Where the burn scars were originally there. Are they gone? Huh? Zack, are you awake? What the hell are you doing? I brought some medicine, so I was applying it to you. So you made it back all right? Yep. Yep, you're all beat up. Was Danny there? How'd you get the medicine? Dr. Danny wasn't there, but I got the medicine from the priest on this floor. Oh, that guy. Ah, hold still! Eh, my wounds will probably open back up like this. I'll stitch you up. I'm not half bad at sewing. Back off, I'll do it myself. There's so much tension. I think. I don't know. Sexual tension? I don't know how old you are. I don't remember how old you are. I thought you were 12, so no. No sexual tension. Just angst. So much angst. Are you good at sewing too, Zach? I knew it. I'll take care of it. Alright, she got you, Zach. You can't sew. And I want to stitch up your stomach. Okay. Fine, whatever. Don't bitch to me if it gets gross. 
Wait here, I'll cut the thread. Your hands are all beat up. Yeah, but it's alright, it doesn't hurt. Man, you're some piece of work. Well, she was cutting herself to your knife in the other room. It was uncomfortable. Way uncomfortable. Look at you all calm, touching my fucked up stomach. Kudos for getting the medicine and coming back alive in a weak state. But still, you don't gotta do this too. Hey, Ray, why are you doing all this for me? If you say the oath again, I'm gonna punch you. Hey, can I use your knife to cut the thread? This knife cuts like a dream. Hey, quit playing dumb and answer me. Answer me. There's a noise. Oh, this is... Okay. <laughs> After all, Zek, you're my god. That's... You got a stalker, Zek. You got a big stalker. You should run away. Run away. <laughs> what? What kind of shit are you talking about? My knife. Uh, it's a bit chipped. I'm really sorry about that. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? But I guess it's okay. Still, this knife is razor sharp and really helped me out. I'm sorry. I, I really appreciate it, though. It's about time I stitch up those wounds of yours. Hold still for a second, Zach. Just stab him. <laughs> Ow. Hey, stop it, shit! That hurts, you dumb fuck! Does it hurt? You just said it does. Hell yeah, it does! I figured you wouldn't feel a thing. Man, you're as dumb as they come. I'm not some pain-loving masochist. For fuck's sake. Your god commands you to do a good job. This is really, this is weird roleplay. This is w uncomfortable roleplay. <laughs> you got it. <sighs> hey, Zach. What is it now? Do these burns not hurt? Huh? No, not really. Not anymore, they don't. Oh, okay. I'll get back to stitching. When you're done, let's head out right away. Okay. Oh, and do something about your own wounds. What? Not only your hands, but your legs could use some attention, too. If you can't run or something, we gotta move fast, then we're fucked. We're fucked! Alright. I'll borrow some of your bandages if you have any to spare. That works. You've got the one from the couch, which I don't know why we picked up. I don't know. Can we go now? <laughs> she got a bandaged leg. Aww. Okay, what's the plan? Still haven't found the elevator that takes us up to the next floor. Plus, we gotta pass through the area where the snakes are to get back to the elevator that takes us down. Well, we're in a predicament. I suppose we haven't checked out the back of the room where Zack's medicine was. Okay, where's purple guy? Purple guy, playing piano. What a huge, what a huge goddamn church. Hey, you know that preacher you talked about? Where is he? I don't know. You don't know. I'm surprised he gave you the me that medicine. It wasn't easy. I didn't think so. But that man. I think he may have a soft spot for you, Zack. <laughs> Pl please spare, spare me, me the throw up. up. Shut up and quit saying gross shit. Great, great. Great cutaway. Super enjoyed it. Awesome. Perfect. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Why did we... Why did they have a save before this? Should I save now? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, found the elevator. It appears that the lever for the starting... Why would we not pull the lever? This should work. Are we supposed to go down? So next is B1, eh? Alright, let's move. Ah, oh, wait. If I do this, will it mess it up? Like, was I supposed to be able to go back down? I don't... Alright. I... We're gonna find out what's on the top floor. Maybe. I don't know. The first level? Someone higher than the priest? More uncomfortable chit-chat. Hey, Zach. Mind if I ask you something? Can you ask me something? Just spit it out already. Okay. 
What's the story with your burns? And next question. What would you gain from knowing that? I don't know, just asking. Nothing in particular. I was just curious about it all. If you're expecting a grip and tail, then look elsewhere. Just tell me, come on. No, I'm not expecting some sort of epic story or anything. Okay. Awesome, that's great. Great story. When I was a kid, you know, that what happened this week, Zach. You know, some guy just came to my house and set me on fire. When I was a kid, some guy at my house set me on fire. A man set you on fire? Well, the whole thing's kind of vague in my mind. He was probably a man who came to see the woman that gave birth to me. So your mom. All I can remember about that man is biting him and taking a chunk out of his flesh. That's about it. That asshole was bent on ending my life, but luckily, I was a resilient little bastard. Maybe he shit his pants? In the end, that woman wrapped me in cloth. Then she threw money at some shitty home and left me there. Let me see. That's pretty much it. You happy now? Yeah. What the fuck, you liked it? No, not really. It was a shitty story. Huh? But I did learn about your burns, and, and so I'm happy. I don't know why. I just wanted to know about you, Zach. So I'm glad I asked. Are you shitting me? Nope. Nah. Really? Yeah. Then I'm glad you know. Yeah. Have a smile. Uh, one more thing. You done yet? Do you... still want to escape this place? Uh, what the hell do you think? You think I'd be risking my life like this if I didn't? I see. Never mind then. What a screwy bitch. I'm gonna put this out there for you. Not a single word coming out of my mouth is a lie. Okay. A lie? What is going on? Come on, it is too late for this. Yeah, that's you. Someone... Looks like your mom killed somebody in front of you. Zach, I had... To be honest, I... What? Were you lying about something? What did you lie about? Come on, spit it out. I... Never, never mind. What the hell is that? I'm sorry, I, I knew that what I wanted to say, but it sort of slipped my mind. Get yourself together. There's still one floor to go. Don't crack the pipe. You smack her? Alright. Child abuse? Spousal abuse? Domestic? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, just a little further and we're out of here. Let's go. Okay. I can't. I can't just tell him. I mean, Zack absolutely abhors liars and God despises the impure. If he should ever find out that I've been hiding my sinful past all this time, he'll hate me for sure. I can no longer tell Zack the truth. Dude, what is this? Huh? What's this place? The inside of a house? Look at the blood trails. This is your house, Rachel. The being known as God despises liars and the impure. Ah. Oh no, it was here. I remember now. This is where I was. It leads this way? Wait, Zach, wait. No, I beg of you, don't go. Don't look in that room. So I think that's all the time I have for today's episode. As always, my name is Dodmas Maximus. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to become a maxer, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.